good morning. Good morning. Yay. Going to the thing. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do that. We should I have. didn't know I was going to do that either. Oh my gosh. Guys, oh. we have a very specific theme for today. Mm -hmm. Meg's going to the chapel, guys. <laughs> I know. So it's wedding month officially. Yeah. And what we want to do today is to shout out the local businesses that have helped me along the way um in case anyone is knows anyone or anyone is in their mm -hmm. planning stages these people have been amazing so we want to shout them out and kind of fill in on the creative ways that they've helped me throughout the process I love it I'm excited me too, me too. I feel like I get to update you at the same yes time. I know I know you'll up yeah this is new to me <laughs> great okay okay guys so getting married in just a few weeks and um I'll start with our venue so we're getting married to be clear, it's actually sooner than a few weeks, but that's fine. Um, okay. Anyway, she's getting married very soon. Okay. Great. Um, <laughs> we're getting married at the Beaufort Hotel and um, we just working with them with Bridget and Amanda has been so easy. They're very willing to customize what you need, where you have your reception and your ceremony, what food you want. If you want to bring anything in, it's just been so great it's to work deal. with them. And Bridget, have you, I, I don't know if you've met Bridget before, but she just started also a private chef business on the Ooh. side called Zest. That's really cool. And she's just so fun to be around. So um, that's a good fun too. We need, we need to put the link to that. Yeah. 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 So super excited about that. Bogart Hotel is a fantastic venue. Even if it's not for a wedding, they hold um, events. We've done several team events there before and um, just always have yeah. a great experience. It's so beautiful. So yeah. Great. And wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Sticking around Beaufort. So um, if you guys saw our last magazine, you guys saw a feature on Beaufort event rentals. Kristen Prescott and her husband, Bradley, who um, they also own 127 Middle Lane, which is also a venue in Beaufort. Yeah. Um, they just started Beaufort event rentals. I Like, I'm going to say this with everyone. They have been nothing but helpful throughout the whole thing. Um, they have built things for us. We're doing some market lights and stuff like that. Um, willing to customize anything that's needed and... She has a lot of experience in the event um, realm. She's worked at uh, Carolina Inn. Exactly. And yeah. um, just knows the ins and outs of all of that. So I think that's a huge benefit to working with them is that she knows what works. She can provide suggestions based on functionality. And also she has a great eye. Yeah. Yes. She has great taste and her experience. Yeah. And that's where we, 127 Middles, where we had our team Christmas party yes. and they did such a great job. Yeah. Oh my God. It's yeah. so good. And they use several of their rentals. There. Exactly. So yes. They were great. Yeah. Um, and then florals, we're utilizing Sandy's Flower Shop. Mm -hmm. So we've mainly been um, communicating with Lexi, who is fantastic. But as you guys know now, also from our one of our previous magazines, they now have a location in Beaufort. So they have three locations total, Havelock, Moorhead, and Beaufort. They all communicate together, so you can really go to any of them. Um, but it's a family-owned business, um, and it's just it's great. They can customize. I sent a um, Pinterest photo of what I wanted, just one, and they did this whole plan. I love that. So what what's, what's the main flower in your bouquet? That's a great question. We're making it weird, like wildflowers. I love that. Yeah. Garden party vibes. That's really fun. Yeah, it'll and, be great. And it perfectly suits you. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, next up, okay, this is a fun little um, addition that we're adding into our ceremony. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this in um, photos or magazines or whatever, utilizing a boat as a cooler. So um, Sean, my fiance, reached out to someone on Facebook and he's with Harker's Island Skiffs. His name is Chuck and he built us a boat for our cooler. He put a drain in it. It That's was really so cute. cool. We got to go and like pick out the color and um, Mackenzie cricketed a little name for the side of it. So, um, you know, they can also use those for, um, you know, they actually work <laughs> and you can put a motor on them and that is float. really so, cool. What a cute idea. Yeah, it's cute. So um, that was a cool thing that we discovered through Facebook. And if anyone needs a, a custom boat made, then a yeah. little mini, I mean, it's not a full size boat, but we could fit our a dog idea. in We could fit our dog in it. <laughs> but don't. I love sure. that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean... That would be a disaster. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next up, um, we, in lieu of cake, we're doing donuts. Um, I think a lot of people do this. Yeah. Uh -huh. However, Hangton Donuts and Atlantic Beach, um, mm -hmm. they opened not long ago. Yeah. Um, but they are making several donuts for us on the day of. We're doing three different flavors, all very weird and different. And it's so fun. Yeah. Can you tell us what one of the flavors is? Maple frosted with bacon. 
Yum. That sounds so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sean had a big hand in picking out these flavors because I just like them all. I don't discriminate. On that the, sounds on the really good. Do you have a favorite donut flavor? No. Um, I will say I really like the cake ones. Oh, you know? Oh, good. I'm so excited. I love that. I love that. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. I really do. I know I, I, I've gotten really boring. No. Yeah. I just like, I don't know. just like I something that's, that's like boring. Yeah. And no offense to all the cake donut likers out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, boring. you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're not okay. boring. Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Couple more. So um, you guys have heard us talk time and time again about Caroline Roberts at Coastal Connections yes. Marketing. She um, also owns the Simple Fag Island. She has, she's anything she touches turns to gold. Yeah. But they helped us make custom little frosted cups and koozies, um, which I love collecting those from friends. I do too. I do using too. them after, like if we're out on the boat, grab a koozie, use it. And it just kind of takes me back to that night. I do too. I do too. I also love the fact that sometimes I'll have a koozie on a drink and I'll be on the beach and somebody will be like, oh, that's, that's my college roommate. You know? Oh, wow. Oh yeah. That totally happens. And sometimes I'm like, really? Cause I don't even know who this is or where I got this koozie. <laughs> I, stole, I stole it from someone else. <laughs> so it's like the, the sisterhood of it, the tribe. It was just koozie. fun. I love that. Oh, that's yeah, cute. It's that's a conversation cute. starter. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Final three, three very big people that yeah. have uh, helped so much. Our photographer is Mel O'Berry. She's so good. Oh my God. I mean, so talented. Such a, I mean, you just feel like you're hanging out with a friend whenever you're with Yeah. Her. I feel like photos can be, can feel really nerve wracking and um, awkward at times if, if you're not comfortable in front of the camera, me. And she just makes it so easy. And I think what that does is it impacts the end result of the photos because oh, yeah. you feel relaxed and it shows that you're relaxed. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. a big deal. And one of her friends, Christina Johnner, who has done my hair for forever, is also doing my day of hair. So yeah. I'll be surrounded by some some good pals and um, that makes it really Okay, happy. are you going up or down? I, that's a great question. So I went in for my trial and yeah. did it up and it was stunning, but I didn't feel like myself. So I'm doing it down. I love that. Yeah. That's great. You definitely want to feel like yourself on your wedding day. Yes. I texted Christina the next day. I was like, don't hate me. She goes, we'll do it down. Like she doesn't even need no to explain. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, and then forever all will be um, our musicians for the day. So they'll be doing a mixture of um, acoustic and, you know, playing. They're so much fun. Yes. And then they switch to DJ. They are so fun. They're so fun. We went and hung out with them at the hotel to kind of walk through everything um, last week. And they, we ended up, we looked at our watches and it was almost 9 p.m. on a weekday. We're like, we have to. It's it was a school, school night. night. Yes. It's a school oh my night. gosh. Yes. I love that. Yes. And then y'all, the final shout out is, um, this is not like a part of the ceremony or the reception, but um, the friendly market is providing breakfast for us the morning of the wedding. And that just feels so special. Um, it's really, really exciting. Really cute. Yep. My aunts and cousins are doing a little girls breakfast that morning for us. So um, it'll be provided by Friendly Market. That's so going to we'll be so fun. Some good stuff in our bellies to walk down the aisle. I love that. And I also want to say, um, as far as the music is concerned, I loved the fact that when you RSVP'd to your wedding, you got to, to make suggestions about songs that you wanted to hear. Correct. Correct. Do you yeah. remember yours? Yeah. I was only one. I just, I just said, I know y'all, I don't even know who it is that sings it. It's the song, You Are, you are My Shining Star. You Ah, oh, my shine star, don't you go away. You know that one? I love that song. Corinne Rixie had that as her first dance at her wedding. Oh my gosh, cute. I know. I now remember you saying that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just love that song so much. Oh, that's a great one. We've gotten some hilarious. I bet records. you have. I bet you have. Also, I, yeah. um, Sean's grandparents. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Um, I didn't specify I didn't specify that these songs were for the reception. So they submitted some hymns for the ceremony. <laughs> I was like, that is the cutest thing I've ever That's seen. That's so cute. Well, I hope you're going to use them. For sure. Yeah. We Great. Must. We must. So guys, thank you. I just, a big thank you to everyone who has contributed to making this day happen. And um, we're just lucky to live in a place that has all of these incredible vendors right at our fingertips. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's right. So exciting, you guys. The big day is almost here. We'll make sure that we share pictures of our beautiful bride when the time comes. Oh, I still feel like a teen bride. <laughs> do you, you basically are. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. You basically are. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have anything that's saving your life? Gosh, now that we're in April. I know. I said I was gonna say, I think that what is saving my life now is just like I said, we said before. Um, when we were right before, you know, the Easter episode was just that it feels like that the season is coming, you know, mm -hmm. and that it's, 
it's um it's just going to be a really great one and i'm just excited about spring and summer and things are warming up and it's just it's just an exciting time to be here love that yeah love that um, the thing that's saving my life on top of all of these vendors and, you know, making it down the aisle, um, I am really excited for our upcoming Coffee with MC guests. We have so many we do have some in great the queue. Ones. We've got them all scheduled and ready to go. And I'm really excited to meet these people through a computer screen to learn more about their businesses and to spread it on to you guys. That's exactly right. And so speaking of which, if you guys have any recommendations, yes. if you've got any thoughts about who we need to have as a guest, just let us know. We'd love it. Yay. Yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Yeah.